Okay, uh, for this session, basically, we are going to look at the HTTP basics. Uh, I have this is my web code, uh, and I'm already logged in. So you can see I'm logged into the web code already. But I also have configured my Zap to actually work together with my browser. Okay. So uh, both of them are actually working together now. Now inside the HTTP basic, uh, you have of course your first uh, lesson as well as your second lesson. There's nothing much in the second lesson basically. Uh, the second lesson is basically just to uh, let you play around by typing your name. Right, then uh, you will basically just reverse it and that's about it. But when you actually configure your browser and your Z correctly to work with your web code when you do this you actually can find your history tab and you can see that there is a bunch of get and post between the server and the client which is basically your browser so uh, you can read up on get as well as post basically get uh, we are getting information we are getting data from the web server uh, in this case we are using our local host and uh, post basically is when we are sending data such as just now i post the form the more interesting one is actually on the third page which is uh, the quiz right now the quiz basically have two questions which is uh is this actually a post or a get you can see whether is this a post or a get and there is a magic number now if i just click the go without doing anything of course they tell me that i'm wrong okay that's uh, it's incorrect let me go to my zap but when i do a post look at this i'm actually doing a post here because when i click the button which is the go i'm actually performing a post so i can actually see the post being done and this is actually being posted so i can actually see the magic number here which in my case uh, is 95 so i now have all the answer i know that my magic number is 95 and I know that I have just did a post. So if I click a go now, right, you can see that yes, this assignment is uh, completed because I got it correct. Okay, so this is more on to just understanding how HTTP actually works right, and uh, making sure that your Zap is actually working just as well. So on the next subsequent session, we will continue to use the web code together with uh, Zap in many of our additional uh, lessons and challenges.